Do you want to know on how to save seeds for your cucumbers? In this video, I'm going to show you how simple it is to save your cucumber seeds. Let's get started on saving some cucumber seeds for you. One of the things that you have to do is to make sure that the cucumber plants are actually ready to save your seeds. Uh, depending on what type of cucumbers you have, you may have um, some pickled cu uh, pickle cucumbers, which they're the really smaller ones. Those are the ones that they're, uh, they grow you know, really small. Uh, there's also slicing cucumbers where they grow a little bit larger. Uh, there's you know kind of stuff in between that they have varying different degrees of it. So it may be different for each one as far as what you, um, when you act the best time to actually pick them is. But one thing that you want to have in common is you want to make sure that they are mature. So on this particular plant, uh, this is a national pickling, a national uh, cucumber brand. So this one, these ones are really the small, the ideal size is the small ones. So the mature ones is going to be really large. This is ideal for picking this off. This is one that I did specifically save for seeds. So what I suggest to do is to, is to, you, you want to keep picking them so they're the right size for your cucumbers that you're actually going to eat. But it is, it's always nice to have at least one plant that you don't pick any particular cucumbers off of and you just leave it just for the seeds. Maybe one or two just in case one of them goes a little rotten or something. But you want to have at least one that you're picking that you, that you want to save just for doing the seeds. Some people like to do this uh, at the beginning of the season. That way there you, you're kind of guaranteed that you're going to have it. Some people kind of wait to the end. On this particular plant, for this one, I just wanted to at least show you one of the plants that I'm actually going to use for this to show you the seeds. So I leave this on, and this is perfect for picking for the seeds. So I just all I do is I'm just going to take this guy off right here, and this is definitely ready for seeds. The next step we're going to actually show you, I'll show you in the kitchen inside so that you can see exactly on how I do it. But just so you know, this is this is the color that you're sort of looking for, and it's very large. This is larger than they normally would come. So this is perfect for the seeds. All right, so now that you've actually selected the, uh, the, the best possible cucumber that you can out there, for is that you want to make sure you have a, uh, an open pollinated or an heirloom variety cucumber. Uh, ensures that you're going to get the same type of plant each and every time that you plant it. So every seed, every offspring of it will be the same as its parent. There are different uh, types of, of cucumbers. There are like hybrid versions of cucumbers. And if you save the seeds from that, you may not get the exact cucumber that you want, that you, uh, that you grew the original parent from. And that's because those are crossbred and sometimes the offspring or the, the seeds from the, those particular types of varieties will exhibit the, the attributes of the, their different parents. So it might not necessarily be the same. You can still grow them. You know, I don't generally don't save the, the hybrid ones because you just never know what you're gonna get when you plant them. I prefer to always have the open pollinated or heirloom seeds. So this particular variety is a national pickling uh, cucumber and these generally are very, you know, you don't want them to get this large. They're, you actually pick them when they're much smaller. But obviously when we're saving the seeds, we gotta make sure that we get the a mature one for this. But this is perfect for, for getting the seeds. So let me show you exactly what, what I do to extract the seeds from there. All right, so one of the things that you're gonna need, you're, you should gather is, is just a knife um, and a spoon is also helpful. The other thing that, that you wanna do at the, it's kind of at the last step of it, is you just want to have some place to store your seeds in. I love these these um, particular envelopes. They're basically coin sorting envelopes. I think you can find these at the bank, or at least they used to have them at the bank. Uh, but you can get these online on Amazon. I'll, I'll post a link below. Pretty much you get a whole box of these and the, this thing will last you for quite some time. And then the other thing that, that's helpful is um, you're gonna need a colander, a bowl that you're basically placing all the seeds in. And I'll show you kind of the step that I use for that. And then also it's recommended to have uh, some paper towels or if better off is if you have coffee filters and that will base, that will allow you to dry the seeds uh, at that point once you get to that stage and that will just absorb all the moisture for it. 
All right, so let's see what we do here for when I do for this cucumber. Some people will cut off the top and, and depending on the variety, they'll just kind of scoop in because they're afraid that they're gonna cut open the seeds. I, uh, I don't really do that too much. I, what I do is I, I do slice it down the, the very edge of it and then, and then I kind of pry it open if I can because that will help uh, that will help it so that you're just extracting the seeds you don't damage that much but honestly I've never found too many seeds that I've damaged from just doing that but you this is another way you just kind of slice it down and then what I do is I just scoop out the center and this is gonna go flying everywhere so just be careful with this don't hurt anybody So as you can see, I scooped, I scooped most of it out here into the pulp. All right. Now I find the best way is is just using your hands and try to get as much of the seeds out of this as possible because you want to break all this stuff up. And I'm going to show you a trick once you break it up. I try to get as most of the seeds I can. If I can get rid of this, the innards here, I do that as well. But you'll see this little method that I have that really gets some these seeds really going here. So I'll do what I'll do is I'll speed up this video with the magic of uh, the magic of video editing, so you don't have to see this exact step. So as you can see, I separated most of the pulp inside. There's still little bits and everything on here, but this next step that I'll do will ensure that that you will uh, not carry all this stuff in there, and this will make it drying out much easier. So what you'll need for this is a, is a bowl, and I just fill it up with water and I dump everything in there, and I'll show you what it looks like after I do this old trick okay so I just put everything in in the bowl and I wanted to show you uh, what the kind of what happens when you do this so you're gonna get some of the the pulp in here and most of the stuff that you're gonna want to get off is, is gonna be floating and there's actually some seeds that are floating and those are those seeds you actually don't you don't want to have as well you want to have the ones that are on the bottom so what I do and what I'll do in this next step, and you can see, is I'm going to pour the very top layer out just in the sink without letting all the stuff on the bottom go. And then I'm going to keep adding water into it until most of the, the stuff is, is done. So I'll show you, I'm going to do, you might need to do this about three or four times before you get rid of all the pulp in there and to make it a little bit much easier to clean. So I'll show you what it looks like once I do that as well. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Most of the stuff has come off. There's still a little uh, pulp that's in here, but it did get rid of a lot of the stuff that, that was kind of floating around and just some seeds that, that may not be viable because they're floating. So uh, at this stage, what you wanna do is you want to strain this out uh, and put it in a colander. So just some kind of type of colander that you wanna do and strain that out. And then we're going to go ahead and put this on our either the coffee filter or some paper towels so that we can let it dry. Okay, so as you can see, I did strain out the, the, the seeds and the water and kind of get rid of a little bit more pulp. Now, you may still have a little bit that's attached to it, and that's okay, because what will happen in this next step is we're going to put this on the towel. And this is going to need to dry because uh, you cannot, one of the things about saving seeds is that you, you must have... The seeds must be uh, come pretty much dry. There, there has to be n not very much moisture. There's, there's okay if it's just a little bit of moisture, like enough to keep the seed alive. But on the outer part of it, you definitely want the seed to be a, much drier. So this process is, is, is necessary. Otherwise, what will happen is the seed will rot and, and then that, it won't grow. You'll get some other problems with it if you try to grow them just like that all you're doing is you're putting this the seeds on a uh, paper towel 
The best one is actually a, it, the best one to use is a filter, is a coffee filter. They don't seem to stick to those. Sometimes the seeds will actually stick to the, uh, to the paper towel, but you can still, you, you can still get them off as they dry. I, I tend to just space them out. So at this point, what you want to do is you want to keep this in a um, dry area. I wouldn't leave these outside unless you're continually monitoring them. But I would, I would leave it indoors so that it does dry. You want to leave it about seven, uh, probably about seven days, and that will ensure that they're dry enough to store. The other thing that you'll need, like I said, is your uh, some type of um, place to put your seeds in, and you want to ensure that you label it. So I, um, I always put the, the name of the variety as well as the year that I save the seeds. That will help you if you have more than one type of cucumbers, which I do, and this will help keep them separated so I know which one is which. <laughs> so hopefully you found this helpful for you. Um, I will have a link right up above, and it's actually, uh, it's actually a link for some of the other seed saving tips that I have for other vegetables and herbs. Uh, so go ahead and take a look at that. Let me know what you think of the, that particular series. Um, also, if you could, please give us a green thumbs up. Let us know that we're making great videos for you. And if you could also hit the subscribe button down below. That's that little, that's that little bell over there. Hit the, hit the bell so you also get notified as well. And we also do have a website called GarnerThumb.com where we have lots of tips, tricks, hacks, all the other stuff that you want to read out there for you for your vegetable gardening needs. Well, we really thank you for, for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.